Hello and welcome to our channel Intimate Lens. I'm Dr. Katz. Today's topic is sex with endometriosis. Let's check it out. Endometriosis is a condition whereby endometrial or inside of the uterus cells migrate outside of the uterus to adjacent areas and interfere and interrupt with function and comfort. You can read more about it. There are a lot of resources out on the internet. Talk to your doctor, etc. Can a woman with endometriosis still maintain a healthy sexual life is the big question. And that's what we would like to discuss now. So can a woman with endometriosis still be sexual? Is it okay? Is it safe? What is the problem? What should she do? Barring any medical advice to the contrary, sex should be safe and fine. However, you may have to make some modifications. For example, Choose a position that's comfortable. What do you mean? A woman always has to choose a position that's comfortable for sexual activity. But when you have endometriosis and that endometrial tissue migrated and now it's all around the various areas outside of the uterus, the thrusting of the penis, or to be graphic over here, as the penis goes in there and thrust inside you, will bang, will tap against the uterus and the cervix, which is normal to do, but it will also tug on the endometrial tissue, may also stretch it, may also uh, disrupt it, and may cause mechanical pain. When choosing a position, you would like to choose one where you have the least mechanical disruption against the endometrial proliferation. What does that mean? Big words. What does it mean in real life? Some sexual positions afford deeper penetration by the penis. Some are more shallow. For example, side by side or spooning. That is not a deep position. You can modify it also with wiggling around. But all in all, side by side is not considered as deep a position as, say, your on your back and the man is on top of you and he can really, really get deep, that's much deeper position, right? Or all fours or doggy style as it's called, that could be a rather deep position. If you're on top, you could modify the position. So it could be deep, but you could also modify that. Um, so these are like basic concepts of what to do with a sexual position. Note, not every woman with endometriosis will have the same needs. Some will not have pain at all. Some will have mild pain in some position, not in other position. Some will have mild pain all the time. Some will have terrible pain in one situation and mild in another or none at all. It's a matter of exploring the mechanical tension, the mechanical tapping, the mechanical friction against the endometrial tissue to suggest to you, oh, this position is more comfortable. This one I like better. In this position, I feel good. In this position, I don't feel comfortable. And then you have obviously to communicate it with your partner. And it is expected that the partner will be respectful, will heed your needs. You're not imagining them you truly need modification or else it's not comfortable. And if it is not comfortable or even painful, why would you even want to engage? A woman should not suffer. It's not about suffering. So endometriosis is what it is. Why the tapping of the penis during thrusting could cause pain and how to choose position in a way that cause you the least pain. However, they tap the direction of what you need the penis to go will be determined by the position you're choosing. Don't forget to add lubrication. If you feel your vagina is dry, please add lubrication. 
some women will come or some men will come and say, well, she lubricates well. Or the woman will say, I lubricate well. That means I'm really aroused. That means I'm really liking it. Not necessarily. The natural lubrication could wane under different conditions and the different ages. So it's not an exact latmus test. So add lubrication if you need. It's no reflection on your interest in the activity. How can you improve your sex life when you have endometriosis, aside from what we said just now? Point number one, understand the condition. Understand how, what it causes, understand the mechanics of it and how they get affected by the penis or dildo if you use a toy, and make accommodations accordingly. Choose the right position. Use lubrication, as we said. Communicate with partner. If your partner does not respect your needs, if your partner does not care to help, if your partner says, I want it this way, and I don't like it this way, and I don't like this position, I only want this position, you know what needs to be done, right? That's no different than if the partner says, I don't like condoms. I don't care about what you think where my penis was before. I'm not doing it with a condom. I've seen too many women who said, okay, I'll do it as you want. Not a good thing. So partner communication, partner respect and understanding, partner being on the same wavelength with you, being on the same page, shake hands and say, I understand. When the partner is inside during intercourse, have him modify the depth of penetration. Yes, they could modify the depth and the, and the enthusiasm of the thrusting. The man likes, and we understand that. That's what they're built to do, to really get in there and get into it and just thrust really enthusiastically, as we call. But if that is problematic to you, they have to curb it. As we said before, change position, modify length and depth, rather modify depth, not length, cannot modify, cannot cut his penis off, but could use a, a penile ring if there is a need to functionally shorten the penis and to curb the enthusiasm of the thrusting. It has to be respectful. We always say the vagina is a hostess. The penis is a guest. Let's respect the hostess. You need to diffuse anxiety. You must be anxious about the whole condition and how it affects you and what to do and your fears of using the vagina uh, uh, with endometriosis. You may have other questions. You may have anxiety altogether about the intercourse. Whatever the point is, the genitals, unisexly, but more so for women, are extremely subjected to psychosomatic influences. Anxiety will right away cause you to stiffen up, to be reluctant, to withdraw. And that, just by the definition of the act, may bring pain that doesn't even have to do anything with the endometriosis in the first place. So diffuse the associated anxiety, seek professional help, talk to your clinician, talk to a sex therapist, whoever needs to help you out to sort out where is the problem and let's address it so that you can have trust in your body and in your vagina, feel safe to use it, even though there is a diagnosis of endometriosis. Likewise, if you had surgical cleanup of endometriosis, once you're being given the go ahead, that means that structurally you're safe and good. Use all these principles we suggested here, how to choose a position, how to modify, how to talk to partner, communication, partner support, diffusing the anxiety, and seeing the healthy sexuality is part of your health regimen. You would like to be able to maintain it working for you in the best of ways. Whether you're partnered or not, you should have a good sexual life, a good sexual being, a good sexual understanding, and the interest in engaging. Thank you for visiting. Hopefully you'll learn something new, share, subscribe, let other women know. If you have endometriosis, good luck to you. Follow medical advice. Remember the body is extremely strong. It tends to recover very well. Hopefully yours will too, very soon. And we look forward to having you with us soon again.